What is up guys, here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And today I'm gonna to be going through step by step how you can start affiliate marketing, you know, as a beginner, someone that's never done it, and basically how I've started it and how you can do it too. So these are just the basic steps of how I've done it before and what I'm doing a little bit now. I'm gonna be explaining, you know, some affiliate streams that I have and how you can start doing them too. So let's go ahead and get on my computer here. But before we do that, make sure you drop a like on this video if you like what you see, if you want more content like this, if you want more business content, make sure you drop a comment of what you want to see and maybe I'll make it. So now let's get on my computer and I'll show you guys what's going on. So if you don't know already, affiliate marketing is just essentially where you are promoting someone else's product or service and gaining a commission off of making that sale. So whether it's a 20% commission or a 50% commission, you know, you know every affiliate system differs on the commission that you get. But if you're selling something that is sold on a monthly basis like a service or system, then you're going to get paid by a monthly basis depending on what that company has to offer. So this right here that I'm going to be showing you guys on my computer in this Google Doc is going to be explaining how you can do it for a service. So you know there's tons of different methods of affiliate marketing, different different streams, different ways to do it, different marketing tactics, but this is sort of what I've done and how you can possibly do it too. So let's go ahead and get on here. This is the $100 a day affiliate marketing blueprint for beginners. So you know this is based off whether you have a personal brand or you don't, you have followers on Instagram or you don't, you have a theme page, you have a personal brand, you know, there's all kinds of variations like I said. So this is just sort of how I've done it. So the first thing I did, you know, when I wanted to start affiliate marketing, I chose to be an affiliate for Shopify and that is if you see the link in my description it says start your Shopify trial now for free 14 days you know that is an affiliate link and I get paid based off of you know how many people sign up and actually pay for the service so you know it's something that I'm advocating that I actually use because I'm a dropshipper I use Shopify so I'm promoting something that I actually like and enjoy and use to make money so if you're gonna sign up for Shopify why not use my affiliate link and we both make money so the first thing I did when I decided that I wanted to start affiliate marketing, I determined my audience. So I looked at my YouTube channel, what do I make videos about? Dropshipping, what is dropshipping? It's a business. So I determined that my audience is based off of people that are aspiring entrepreneurs, current entrepreneurs, people that like the luxury lifestyle, that kind of thing. But you know there's tons of different audiences out there. You could have a sports related audience, you could have someone that's interested in dancing, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, determining your audience shouldn't be that hard. Um, you know, depending on what you post, what kind of content you're putting out there for other people, then you're able to leverage that and determine what your audience is. So now, if we go to step number two, I say find a service that interests your audience. So this can be a product or service. I prefer services that are charged on a monthly basis because then you're making that passive income every single month off of this affiliate-based income stream. So you know, a lot of big companies have affiliate systems, you know, Amazon and some other big ones, and you're able to promote products and get an affiliate commission off of that. But I like to go with some smaller base companies and promote things that I genuinely like, and that'll be in the step three, but step number two, find a service that interests your audience. So let's say you have people that follow you that are entrepreneurs or people that want to be influencers, and let's just say they want to grow their Instagram and stuff like that. So you're doing some research on Instagram growth systems for people and ones that are fairly priced and work good. So, you know, it could be anything. Like for me, I promoted in a recent video a few days ago about Dropshipping Spy. Dropshipping Spy is basically an affiliate system that I use to promote for dropshipping products, like finding products, uh, the Facebook targeting, and it's 20 bucks a month. 20 bucks a month. It's a no-brainer for all the stuff that is in there. It definitely helps a lot for beginners with finding products, Facebook targeting. Even I use it. I'm not a beginner, and I even use it a little bit. You know, I don't use it for all my products and stuff because then it'll just become saturated and stuff like that. But I use it, you know, to look at Instagram engagement. I look at it for the Facebook targeting. You know, you can look up reviews and all this kind of stuff. So it's very helpful. And for 20 bucks a month, you know, why wouldn't you? So the link is in the top of the description if you actually want to join. I'll explain a little bit more how you can make money off of it. But that's what I've used to promote and I get an affiliate commission off of it. But into step number three, use the service to make sure it's something that will actually benefit your audience. You know, I would never promote something to my audience that I didn't like and didn't use myself. You know, you see other YouTubers, people say sellouts, you know, they're promoting something that they don't really like. So why would YouTubers do that? They just want to make a quick buck. I'm not in it for the quick buck. I want to do something that helps me as well as helps other people. So if I found this super cool service, you know, that not many people have found yet, Dropship Spy, you know, if I use it, why should I not tell you guys about it? And, you know, we both get benefits off of the sides of it. So it's really helpful. And, you know, you want to make sure that whatever service or product you're promoting is something that you actually advocate for and it's not something that's just completely trash because then if other people get it and then they're like man you sent me here and I don't like it at all why would you tell me to get this I wasted my money you know you don't want to have that kind of reputation as an entrepreneur or personal brand or theme page whatever you're doing so don't promote something that is not useful to you now step number four promote to your audience this is how you make the sales and get people to actually sign up and you get the affiliate commission 
So you wanna, you know, how you're gonna do this is you're gonna show examples of you using, other people using it, and then talking to people, answering their questions about it, and then eventually closing them on the sale of, you know, how they actually get involved. So I'm gonna close you guys real quick. Dropship Spy, I made a video about it of how I find products. I use Dropship Spy, you know, to a certain extent. And then I told you guys, if you wanted to sign up and do the same stuff that I do, I showed you guys exactly how I do it, and I left a link in the description for you guys to sign up and, you know, start using it. And I get a, what is it, 35% commission off of the sales that I get off of that, and the second level is 5%. So second level is essentially when the person that signed up under your link signs up and gets other people in. So that is 5%. You know, it's only a two-tier affiliate system, but it's a great company, and I really advocate for it for the price that they're charging and everything that they're doing within it. I really advocate for it. You know, this sounds like a big brand deal. No, they don't pay me or anything like that. You know, just for the price, it's really worth it. And since I'm talking about an affiliate marketing blueprint, it makes sense for me to talk about it. So I promoted to my audience, I showed you guys what was going on, how you use it, and how you can sign up for it. And I left a call to action, which was the link in the description for you guys to sign up. So then number five, the last step of making money is teaching others how to become affiliates. So like I said, it is a two-tier affiliate system within Dropship Spy. You know, every affiliate system, every company is different with their tiers and their percentages of commissions and all that kind of stuff. But for Dropship Spy, there's a two-tier. So let's say you sign up under my link and then you start bringing in more people. So I will get 5% of each person that you get to sign up under your link. So that is the two-tier system. And you know, you get those second level commissions and if you get other people to do it, then you're making money by doing no work at all. So if you guys are gonna promote Dropship Spy as an affiliate, then sign up under my link and we'll both be making money. So that is sort of the basic five step process that I would go through to start affiliate marketing. You know, this is a general overview and if you were to do that, I feel like this is the most easiest way to start. You know, there's no upfront cost really, except for the cost of the system. If it's a product and you have to pay to sign up and this different stuff, uh, but you know, systems, you pay for the system, you have access to the program and the service and everything, and then you're also able to become an affiliate. So Dropship Spy, I pay 20 bucks a month, but I promote it as an affiliate link and I get sales off of that and it pays for itself and I make profit off of it every single month. And since Dropship Spy is a monthly reoccurring payment, then I'm getting that money every month that my affiliate pays for it. So it's passive income, affiliate marketing is very good. I have a couple different affiliate marketing income streams. The ones I just told you guys about, Dropship Spy and the Shopify affiliate thing, you know, those are two things that I definitely advocate for and they're very useful for me and for other people. So that's what a lot of people use to make money and get started with dropshipping and everything like that. So that is my basic overview. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and it helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know. So if you like this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.